guys, my name is Ilona Mar. I play for the USA Rugby Sevens team, and you're watching the Women's Rugby Show. Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Women's Rugby Show. I'm Sam, by the way, and today I'm here with the final one of our One to Watch in 2022 series. We speak to probably the most well known star on our One to Watch list, and that is Bristol Bears and England Sevens star Grace Crompton. We spoke to Grace just before the England Sevens squad flew out to Malaga. This is all before that tournament, but we spoke to her about her aspirations for this year, playing for GB, travelling the world, and also learning under Dave Ward. Before we get into the video though, make sure you like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube and also check us out across all social media. Having done all that, let's get into this video. Thank you so much for joining us. How has your week been? Obviously you've been in GB camp this week, so how's it been? I'm oh, sorry, GB England camp this week. Yes, England camp, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was good. Um, it's nice to be back um, and see the girls again. Obviously, it's a bit weird without the the Welshies and the Scottish girls, but um, no, it's nice to like see everyone again. And we're just building for Spain really now because um, we go we go on Tuesday, so in a few days, which is exciting. Yeah, and obviously, it's just um, this is one to watch for this year. But can you tell tell us a little bit about your rugby career so far? Yeah, um, so I started playing probably about four years ago now. Um, I started it just at school and ended up loving it um, and then kind of was lucky enough to kind of develop through the pathway. Um, did like under 18 um, sevens um, and under 20 stuff. Um, and then I went to Bath Uni and Bristol Bears was the obvious option. So I joined them uh, in March last year. Um, so I haven't been actually there for very long. So this is my first kind of proper season with Bears, which is quite exciting. Um, and more recently kind of got the got the call up for the GB7 stuff, which is insane. Kind of my dream really. Um, and yeah, progressing with them, which is really exciting. Yeah, the end of 2021 was like quite a mad, mad time for you. Obviously you went to G, yeah. went with the GB, went to a couple of tournaments. How were those tournaments out in Canada? Yeah, it was it was crazy because I, I only really got the news about a week or a few weeks before we were meant to go. So obviously I was a bit shocked. I was like, what the, what's going on? This is crazy. Um, but they were insane. We did really well. We won um, Vancouver and Edmonton. So that was really, really good. Um, really enjoyed that. And then, yeah, most recently came back from Dubai, which is insane. Dubai, I mean, Dubai Sevens is madness. Obviously the first week was a bit weird because we weren't allowed any crowds, but the second week with the crowds, it was, it was buzzing. It was really, really cool. And how have you found kind of the switch between sevens and fifteens? Obviously, there's plenty of girls going back and forth between the two, but how have you found it so far? Just because they're very different games. Although it's rugby, they are they are played very differently. Um, the main thing that I think about when I go back to playing fifteens is like, where is the space? There's so many people on the pitch all of a sudden. Um, but they are they are different. But I do want to kind of keep the relationship between both I want to be able to play both really well so that's kind of the goal for me I don't really want to yeah pigeon my whole pigeon hole myself into one or the other um so just yeah kind of keep it fluid and kind of yeah work on playing both um how is Dave Ward's coaching being obviously this season and um, coming into the club and how has he kind of turned around the fortunes of the club yeah I mean it's been a dramatic change um He's done really, really well and like the effort that he's put in, he's changed a few things and obviously we've had a few new girls come in at the start of the season so they've really, really made an impact. Um, but I think the effort from from the girls and the effort that we've put in, you know, week in, week out has has been like the massive change. You know, we're excited to train every week. We want to be there. We want to do our best. We want to grow. So um, I think it's a, it's a credit to us. Um, but obviously Dave's been the most pivotal part of it all. So, yeah. How have you found playing with such star names, obviously Leanne, Abby Ward, then Jazz Joyce, Alicia Butchers across Wales as well. So how has that been for you as a young player coming through? Yeah, I mean, it's great. You can't really ask for a better, a better group of people. I mean, we've got like eight or nine Welsh internationals, which is crazy, and loads of English internationals. So they're there, they're there to learn off, they're there to grow from. Um, and I mean, for me, the most important person for me is Jazz and to be able to learn off her you know, watch watch her play and even play alongside her sometimes is is invaluable. So, yeah, I, I look up to her a lot, yeah. You just mentioned looking up to Jazz. Was there anybody kind of a rugby inspiration for you when you started playing or is it kind of been growing as you've been joining? Yeah, I think when I when I started, I, I didn't really know a lot about it. So I just kind of played for the fun and didn't really... I didn't really have a role model, to be honest. Um, but I think as, as, I'm, as I'm growing up and I'm seeing more people, you know, 
on the World Seven Series and in in the Fifteen Circuit as well. You know, there's loads of people that I look up to, but um, the way the way Jazz plays is is what I look up to. Um, and because she's so close to me, I can you know ask her questions, see what she's thinking in certain situations, um, and it's just a really good place for me to learn. So she's someone you kind of model your game on, then, if you were to say that's what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, it's it's great to just have her have her there, you know, sevens and fifteens, um, and how she flicks between both is kind of what I I want to do in the future as well. So it's definitely handy handy to have her. Yeah. <laughs> and who's faster, you or Jazz? Do you reckon? Have you have have you had a race yet? We actually, we've actually never had one. Um, it's it's close, so I don't know. I don't know who's who's better, but yeah, it is it is very close. <laughs> and kind of off, just to touch on off the pitch briefly. You said, mentioned you were at Bath Uni. Are you still at Bath Uni studying? Yeah, still at Bath Uni. So I'm in my in my second year. I'm doing yeah. sport management and coaching. Okay. So um, how are you finding kind of the balance in time between England sevens, Bristol Bears, and also uni work at the same time? Yeah, it is hard. I won't lie, there are some points where it is a bit stressful, um, but I'm quite lucky because I'm quite organised. So um, I kind of plan everything when it needs to be done. And if there's an assignment that needs to be done whilst I'm in camp, you know, I let the coaches know and they're really, really flexible and adaptable with that. They know that I'm at uni and they know that that kind of is my priority. You know, I want to I want to pass with a first, you know, that's my goal. So um, stressful, but it's all about making priorities, I think, and just letting people know in advance if, if I am struggling. And there's also plenty of Bristol girls at Bath Uni playing for Bath um, Uni. How important do you think having that kind of little bit of a link is for both the university and also Bristol? Yeah, to be fair, that is really, really key. There's loads of girls at Bears um, that are still playing for uni and that's good just to get game time, you know, because only 23 can go on Saturday. So there's another, there's another 20, 30 girls that are sitting at home. So it's important that we all get game time when we're not at Bears. Um, and that can only develop us even more. And is it nice for you to have these players coming up through the ranks with you and having them kind of sharing the same experiences as you? Yeah, it's really it's really helpful. My two my two best mates are in the exactly same situation. One of them even does my course. So to be able to be with her and you know be in the same situation is really helpful. I know that I'm I'm not alone. And there's loads of there's loads of us in the same situation. Um, and yeah, there's loads of under twenty girls at Bears that you know have to balance under twenties with Bears. So it's all about being organised and helping each other, talking to each other, um, especially talking to coaches as well, which is key. And just quickly touching on the support you, Bristol, have had at Shaftesbury Park this season. Lots of young girls coming through, families coming to watch. How nice is that to have this kind of looking up like, oh, these people are watching me play rugby? Yeah, it is crazy. I mean, the first game of the season, I remember so well against Exeter at home. I mean, it was crazy. I think there was like 700 people there, which was mad. Um, that's never, never happened before. And they really, really do make an impact um, to have them there cheering you on. You know, families come and we see like loads of little girls coming and wanting to chat to us after the game, which is really, really cool. Um, and it can only, you know, grow the game and develop it even more with with little girls coming to see, you know, there's that there's that famous quote of you can't be what you can't see. So I think that's really, really important. And obviously this is a one to watch for 2022 video but so what are your kind of aspirations for this year in terms of both on the pitch and off the pitch um ooh, I'd say on the pitch would kind of be to get more game time you know I'm still very new to the game I've got a lot of learning to do still so I think it's just getting game time um I'm in the best place that I can I can grow you know the the support that we have at Bears and at England Sevens is insane so I think just to keep growing my game um, and getting more confident as well. Um, so yeah, just to just to develop my game, I'd say um, off the pitch, you know, carry on balancing the whole uni life with with rugby is key for me, um, and to just enjoy it mainly. I mean, I love I love the girls at Bears. You know, it's just another family. So yeah, just enjoy it and make the most of it as much as I can. And in terms of Seven's point of view, this year is quite a big one, obviously. World Seven Series coming back a little bit more, World Cup, Commonwealth. How are the aspirations for that going forward as well? Yeah, big, big year for Sevens, um, which is really, really exciting. Um, we talked about it at our last camp, kind of what are our dreams, what are our goals? Um, and it's definitely, you know, we're going for gold. I don't know why, why you wouldn't. If you're going to the Commonwealth, you might as well just aim high. So definitely going for gold at the Commonwealth and it's home home Commonwealth in Birmingham as well which will be really really cool to have a home crowd um 
so definitely yeah aiming high for that and same same as the um the world cup you know qualify um i think it's in south africa so go for that um and just really enjoying you know making making a legacy inspiring the next generation um and wearing a wearing a rose on our chest which will be really cool for the first yeah. time in a while because of covid yeah. and how much are you looking forward to kind of traveling the world a little bit this year as well yeah it's really 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 cool i already had a little bit of a taste of it but yeah we've got spain in a few weeks and then we've got langford and toulouse so we're going to a few places which is really really exciting and it just kind of gets you closer as a team when you travel um mm. with each other um and you're away with each other for like two or three weeks sometimes so you get really really close with the girls which is really nice who are kind of your closest friends in that england sevens camp at the moment it's got to be alicia maud um we're like tweedledum and tweedledee <laughs> Because we, we went through under 20s together. Um, so I knew her before. And then when I when I heard she was coming in for Canada, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I've got this. Um, but they're all so lovely. I was I was obviously a nervous wreck going into it, but um I felt at home immediately and now I can yeah, all call them call them all my best mates. So every single one of them is lovely. And obviously just looking forward to a little bit further than a year, where do you kind of see yourself or where do you want to be in five years' time? Mm. for me the goal has always been the olympics um so we've got paris 2024 coming up so i've always kind of wanted to go to the olympics ever since i was ever since i was tiny so that's definitely up there um but i think just being the best player that i can be i know that i've got so far to go um i've only really just begun like my proper like professional journey so yeah working hard playing hard and see see where it gets me any 15s caps hopefully on the horizon as well that would be yeah that would be pretty cool as well I wouldn't lie <laughs> um 2025 I think is the next world cup at, hopefully at Twickenham so that would be pretty cool <laughs> has there been any conversations with the 15s kind of um coaching staff for you um we've had like a few of the coaches come down to bears and yeah we've had a few chats but um I think for me sevens is the path that is, is taking me on at the moment so concentrate on that and then hopefully in the future I'll get an opportunity maybe. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to talk to, to okay. me this Thanks morning and um, best of luck for uh, Spain and best of luck for the rest of the season as well. Thank you, thank no you very worries. much for having me.